Hey guys, Dando here for Pop Culture, and today I'm going to be bringing you a very special video. Yes, I'm going to be unboxing the complete wave of TargetCon 2019 Funko Pop vinyls. And boy, do I have a lot to get through. We've got some 10 inch pops, we've got glow in the dark pops, we've got flot pops, we've got two packs, we've even got this thing right here. It is the DC Bombshells Collector Box. I'm going to be unboxing that for you guys at home as well. So much to get through. All this stuff is available right now on our website in stock to purchase. The link's in the description of this video, popculture.com.au. Or you can just head to our website and I've pinned it all to the top of our Just Arrived section just to make that a little bit easier for you guys purchasing at home. Actually, you know what? I've got to come clean. I just told you guys a little white lie. I did say that it's all available in stock. That's not entirely true. It's 98.4% true. This guy right here, the Michael Jordan in rookie jersey pop, not quite in stock yet. He's still pre-order, but I'm telling you right now, if you are a Funko collector and you don't have this guy and the other two Michael Jordan pops in your collection, then can you really call yourself a Funko collector? Can, is it really a Funko collection, a real Funko collection? Because Michael Jordan pops are, without a doubt, the hottest selling pops of 2019. Everyone wants these guys in their collection. But like I said, he's still pre-order. Um, so you can still find him on their website. Make sure you pre-order him right now. But the rest of these guys, I was telling the truth. They are all in stock right now on our website. Like I said, popculture.com.au, pinned to the top of our Just Arrived section. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd gather them all up into one video. And, you know, you might be sitting at home right now thinking, you know, you might be on the fence thinking to yourself, do I really need to drop that much money on pop vinyls? Of course you do. They're pop vinyls, and we all love them. So I thought I would get them all, just in case you are on the fence for whatever reason. Take them out of the box, blasphemy, I know, and give you guys a closer look at what the pops actually look like, and it might sell you, might get you over the line and make you realize just how great they are. Because I'll tell you right now, that just for example, these 10-inch pops, so good, so, so good. I can't wait to take them out of the box and show you guys. So much to get through. I'm out of breath. Let's get into it. Alrighty, up first here, we've got Mr. Jack-Jack from Incredibles 2. Uh, the box is really light, so that's going to be good on your postage costs. Uh, let's spin them around here, give you a close look. Like you see here, it's just got the usual wave. Now you guys are watching this so you can see him out of the box, so let's do it, shall we? Take him out, take him out. Woo! Oh, that was really bad. And I have a baby sleeping in the next room. Here he is, Mr. Jack-Jack. Uh, so he's a little bit different from the rest of the Jack-Jacks that were released. You can see he's got a cheeky smile here. Uh, still got the usual mohawk on top. Does his head spin? His head does spin. So you can display him like this. I think I'll display him like that. Does that look, does that look all right? I think it looks all right. If you're a Disney fan and you particularly like the Incredibles films, then this guy is definitely worth the money. Jack-Jack, how can you not love Jack-Jack? He is my favorite. I think he's everyone's favorite character in the Incredibles movies. Make sure you get this one. Next up, we've got here the flying Captain Marvel Glow in the Dark Pop. Captain Marvel comes out in Australia next week. I'm really looking forward to watching it. It's set in the 90s. I'm a real 90s kind of guy. Let's take her out so you can see. I'm pretty sure she's got the, the base molded to the pop. I don't think you can remove her like most flying pops. So we'll take her out here. All right, so the head bubbles because it's a Marvel pop and they all bubble. Um, yes, so the base is fused to her back as expected. Got a pretty badass mohawk working there. Um, so this is a Glow in the Dark Pop. Glow in the Dark doesn't really work on the video, so I apologize, I can't show you the Glow in the Dark function, but according to the picture, it's the whole pop. Don't quote me on that, that's just what the picture is, but yeah, Captain Marvel. I think it's going to be a huge hit. Not many people expect the Black Panther to be the hit that it was. Captain Marvel's going to be in the same boat, I reckon. I reckon it's going to be one of the biggest hits of the year. This is the pop that you want. Glow in the Dark, flying Captain Marvel. What more could you ask for? Staying on topic of Glow in the Dark, we've got Darth Vader. Now, this is a pretty cool pop. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Not so much the latest one, that's a topic for another day. Darth Vader electrified. Pretty damn awesome. And sad at the same time. Poor Darth Vader, saving Luke's life. So it's got the Glow in the Dark sticker. It comes with the Glow in the Dark sticker for all you sticker collectors out there. Let's take him out. Um, so I checked this out at work today. Like I said, you can't show you the Glow in the Dark function, but I know for a fact, get rid of the bucks, that the head there, you can see the head's translucent and you can see his skull on the inside. The skull on the inside is what glows. I'm not sure whether the lightning actually glows as well. I couldn't really tell because it's blue anyway, but definitely the, the skull on the inside of the head is what glows on this pop, and it is pretty fantastic. I am going to be getting one of these for myself. No doubt about that. I do love me some Darth Vader. He is the ultimate villain, if you ask me, in regards to movies. And this is one of the best Star Wars pops I have seen to date. Actually, speaking of best Star Wars pops released to date, I know Darth Vader... Electrify, glow in the dark, you're pretty damn awesome. But can you compete with what's next? It's the 10 inch wicket. 
Uh, Darth Vader can compete with Wicket. He is much more powerful than Wicket. But this pop here, this might be, in my humble Star Wars fan opinion, the best 10-inch pop that I've ever seen. And it is definitely the heaviest. This has some weight behind it, probably because it's got the base fuse to it. Not all 10-inch pops have the bases fuse to it. But this pop is just look at it. Like, I, I know not everyone loves Ewoks, but this pop is fantastic. Spin them around here. Wicket W. Warwick. You can also get all the latest uh, Return of the Jedi pops on the website as well. They're all in stock. Also got the uh, the Emperor one, which is pretty awesome. If you ask me. Let's take Wicket out of the box. I'm going to have some sort of a mess to clean up before my wife comes in tomorrow. Sorry, son, sleeping in the next room for waking you, but this is important. The Funko fans need to see it. All right, so Wicket, here he is. Now, did I lie? No, I did not. This is the best 10 inch pop they've ever released. Is it not? I mean, look at the detail and the fur. And I mean, I mean, you know what it is? It's because it suits the design. Because Ewoks just have the marble black eyes anyway. And if you watch the re releases, they have blinking eyes. But anyway, yes. But he, he's a bit different here. He's, he might sit there thinking, well, it's just a bigger version of the, um, of the standard Wicked Pop, which is part of the latest Return of the Jedi line. That's not true. Because you'll see, his spear is being stood up like this, where the smaller one, he is holding it across. Much different. So, don't you dare pay out the 10-inch Wicked. This is, honestly, check it out. Like I said, the behind it here, the detail on the fur, it's got a base, the base says Star Wars on it. This is, if you're, if you've got a Star Wars collection, you would not be ashamed, whether you like Ewoks or not, you would not be ashamed to have this as a centerpiece. It's that good. It's actually that good. I am so impressed with this one. This is one of the best pops I've seen ever. I'm, I'm in love with this one. If you're a Star Wars fan, get this pop. You will certainly not regret it. Now, from one love to another, it is the Wayne's World 2 pack. How great is Wayne's World? One of the best, one of the funniest movies ever made. I absolutely love it. Adore it. Now this two pack here, so the standard wave just has them in their usual get up that they wear on the show. This one here is the game on! It's the, uh, it's them playing street hockey. They're really good. The, the Wayne's World pops are great. I'm um, on the back seat. Yeah, you see on the back of the box, you can see that's the standard wave as well. Let's take it out and have a look. I'm actually really excited to get these ones out. So, alright, so you've got Garth here holding his, uh, he's the goalie, of course, standing in front of the net. Wish it came with a net. That would be awesome if it came with a net. Get out of here, plastic. We've got here, Wayne wearing his hat and he's got the puck because he in, in the movie is shooting and uh, Garth is the goalie. These are awesome. If you're a Wayne's World fan, how could you not want these guys in your collection? Even if you're not a Funko collector and you just like Wayne's World, you're going to want these. They're, they're that good. He's even got like, his jersey on, or both of them have, of course. On the back, anything on the back of the jerseys? Nothing on the back of the jerseys, but yeah, like I said, in his goalie year is Garth and Wayne's just wearing his hat and you know shooting the puck. You know, it would be actually a good idea. A Wayne's World pop ride. There you go, Funko. Singing Bohemian Rhapsody. A, a talking pop ride, Wayne's World. That's what Dando wants. Next up, we have a much smaller Ewok. It's the Baby Nippet. And he is flocked. Isn't he adorable? So he comes with the flock sticker. Sticker collectors. Spin him around here. Let's take him out and have a look. He's sitting in his basket. Isn't that just cute? Take him out. Gonna be a bubble head because it's a Star Wars pop. Or Star Wars pop with a bubble. Alrighty, here he is. Now, because he is an Ewok, the flocked works. I'm not usually a huge fan of flocked, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, if it's a flocked pop, I don't usually buy them. But this one works, like I said, because it's an Ewok. He's sitting here in his bed, spin him around. It's pretty damn cute. Um, yeah, I'll give that. Let's actually compare it next to the 10 inch, just to give you a bit of a size comparison on how big this damn wicket is. Da, 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 da. There we go, look at that. Look at the size difference. So this is the size of a, a normal pop, like not even joking. So where's a Darth Vader? See, a little bit smaller than a normal pop, but yeah. So let's, Darth, let's put Darth Vader next to it. That's a standard pop right there, next to the 10 inch Wicket. Look how big this guy is, huge, awesome. Anyway, enough about Darth Vader and Wicket. Talking here about Baby Nippet, the flock Baby Nippet. Uh, it's gonna cost you a little bit more, $24.99, because he's flocked, but he's worth it. He's adorable, he's a baby Ewok, and he's flocked. Well worth the money. Up next is the two pack that is sure to tug at the heartstrings, it is, of course, the Titanic Rose and Jack 2-pack. Let's take them out and have a closer look. Looks like one of them has a base. I'm assuming it's Rose. Let's go the pop. Let's wipe the old stand into Rose there. There we go. Just to make sure that she stands up. Probably stood better without the bloody stand. Anyway, so here we go. Rose and Jack puts his hand out. Unfortunately, their hands can't quite meet because their heads are too big. 
Hey, they are Funko Pops after all. When I walked in the house with these this afternoon, my wife saw them and she went, oh, Titanic Pops. So I'm sure there's many women out there that are going to go, I need these in my collection. And I'm sure there's plenty of men as well. Um, Titanic, whether you like, like, whether you like the movie or not, you can't deny the fact that it is one of the greatest movies of all time. James Cameron is just an absolute genius. Uh, and these pops are pretty great. So it's got Rose in her blue dress there with a little butterfly hair clip. Spin around so you can see. And we got Leo with his hand reaching out saying, Rose, take my hand so I can show you the, uh, the adventure of a lifetime. Unfortunately, it doesn't end well for both of them, but it will end well for you if you add them to your Funko collection. Hey, you like what I did there? Of course, I've got the Michael Jordan. He is not in stock. He's a pre-order. Don't ask why I've got this. <laughs> I'm going to take it out there and give you guys a look at what it looks like. I'm pretty sure you guys have all... If you're a, if you're a fucking club, you probably saw what these guys look like out of the box. Let's take them out. Alrighty, so here he is. MJ in his rookie jersey, complete with number 23, holding the B-ball. The greatest basketball player of all time. Yes, that's right. The greatest of all time. The greatest. And yeah, these pop slot. All three of them. Michael Jordan in the black jersey. Rookie jersey and just the standard Chicago Bulls. You have to have these guys in your collection. They are the best pops of 2019, the hottest selling at least so far. Make sure you get them. This guy, pre-order him right now. Alrighty, now I'm going to open up for you guys the collector box, the DC Bombshells collector box. People do love themselves some DC Bombshells. So let's take it out and see what is inside. If you read the back of the box, I would know, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Even though you're probably already well aware. So what have we got in here? We've got Harley Quinn's Atomic Bond. Bond. Harley Quinn's Atomic Bomb, I should say, enamel pin. We also have, I believe this is the pack of trading cards. Now there is a chance, I'm not sure what the ratio is to off the top of my head, I apologize for that, but there's a chance of getting Chase foil cards. There's five cards in here and the chance of getting a Chase one as well, all featuring different DC bombshells. Uh, also we have ooh, a rock candy of Black Canary singing some soulful tunes right there. So if you like yourself some rock candy, some Black Canary, some Black Rock Candy right there. Uh, anything else in here? That's just penny. Okay. Wonder Woman on the front here of a notebook. So a DC Bombshells notebook. Talk about value for money. But the sealer, not just the box itself, which is absolutely amazing. The sealer right here. It is wrapped up very well. That's what it is. It is Batman. DC Bombshells pop vinyl figure. And it even comes with a very special limited edition. A special edition foil sticker right there. More stickers for you sticker collectors. So he's holding his grapple gun. Um, let's take him out. Why am I, why am I describing it? We should take him out of the box. I'm not gonna unbox the rock candy. We just wanna see the pops out of the box, right? So, that menu over there, the box. Plastic over there. Okay, so, here he is. That's pretty damn cool. He's, he's not your usual blue. He's, he's off blue. He's got his 1940s inspired DC bombshells attire holding his grapple gun, like I said. Let's just spin him around. Very different Batman pop. Um, if you're a Batman collector, you should definitely want to get this. It's worth, these boxes are $60. Value for money, seriously. You got a notebook, enamel pin, trading cards, rock candy, uh, and the Batman DC Bombshells pop vinyl figure, which is worth it in and itself. It's really, really cool. So if you're going to want this pop, you're going to have to buy this box or buy a flipped one on eBay. And no one wants to do that. So. Get this box, 60 bucks right now on our website. Links in the description of the video, like I said. And now, ladies and gentlemen, why I move all this stuff out of the way. We have two pops left to unbox from the TargetCon 2019 wave. I'm exhausted. There is so much to get through, isn't there? So which should I do first? Which one should I save for last, you say? Well, first one I'm going to unbox at the final two. There's two 10 inches left. Let's reach over here. Here he is. It is Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Free the Hidden World. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. It came out in Australia a few weeks ago. It just came out in the States. There was a bit of a uproar for Funko releasing the Nightlights Pops, which are all available on our website. I highly recommend you get them because they are adorable. Baby dragons. Who doesn't want baby dragons? This guy here is by no means a baby. He is enormous. This might be the widest. The Dobby box was pretty wide, the 10-inch one. This might be the widest box, 10-inch wise, I've seen from Funko. Oh, the box there has got Light Fury. Don't forget that if you're living in Australia, uh, Pop Culture had the exclusive Diamond Glitter. Not Diamond Glitter, just Glitter. Uh, Light Fury Pop. We're going to be selling it exclusively at Supernova Conventions. Uh, the first one's in April in the Gold Coast in Melbourne. So make sure you, if you want that pop, come to those conventions and get your hands on it because it's pretty damn cool. All right, so let's get this guy open, shall we? All right. Let's see if this one wakes up the baby. Oh, no, you a baby crying yet, so that's good. All right, so now I said that Wicket was one of the best ones I've ever done. This one is pretty damn great. Uh, so he's got the giant green eyes, 
lines you would expect being toothless. And toothless, he's my favorite dragon in the franchise. And I think he's most people's favorite, right? He's just, who wouldn't want him as a best pal? The scales here, the, the detail is great in this pop. So they've got uh, scales on the legs all down the face here, on his ears. If you turn around the back here, you'll see his wings and he's wearing his armor as well. On the end of his tail, he's got there the red and the black. Pictures on the website do not do this one justice. I'm pleasantly surprised on how good this pop actually looks. If you like the How to Train Your Dragon movies, and let's be honest, we all do. They're really up in their game, Funko, the 10-inch pops, and this is no different. This one is great. If you like this movie, highly recommend you get yourself a Toothless. It's fantastic. And now, it's the main event. The grand finale, some would say. Which one are going to be unboxing? It's Hedwig, 10-inch pop vinyl figure. Who would not want Hedwig as their friend? She is the most loyal thing you can ever think of. Uh, this pop... I'm going to throw it out there. This might be the hottest selling 10-inch pop of the year. I had this debate with the guys at work today. I wanted to call it life-size. They said it's not life-size. They said an hour's bigger. Have you ever seen an hour bigger than this? I've never actually seen an hour in real life. So, to me, this seems life-like. Um, so, I'm going to take it out. Absolutely enormous. Let's take her out, shall we? Obviously, Hedwig is the best friend and the uh, mail deliverer for Harry Potter. She was a gift from Hagrid. And now she's going to be our gift from Funko. Uh oh, don't, don't fall down, don't fall down, don't hurt her. Don't hurt her, Brendan! Take her out of the box. Alrighty, so here she is. Much like the Wicked one, um, maybe even more so, because some people are embarrassed to have an Ewok in their collection. Who would be embarrassed to have a, a Hedwig in their collection? If you have a Harry Potter Funko collection, if you're a Harry Potter Funko collector, this is an absolute must. Drop everything and order this girl right now. You will certainly not regret it. So you've got all the detail on the feathers here. Snow white like you expect with the black pattern on the wings. Big black claws and the big giant black eyes. Harry Potter fans, listen to me right now. Go on the website, link in the description, popculture.com.au. Order this because you will be kicking yourself if you do not have this in your collection. Every Harry Potter Funko collection needs to have this. This is... This is really, really great. Well, there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed my unboxing of the complete wave of TargetCon 2019 Funko Pop vinyl figures. If you are watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to ensure you do not miss out on future videos. Or if you're just watching on Facebook, look out next week because uh, I'm Dando and I am the Funko guy here at Pop Culture. I list all the Funko items. I promote all the Funko stuff on social media. And my goal for 2019 is to just engage with you guys more. So my goal is to try each week bring you a Funko video, whether it be an unboxing, just a Funko news update, anything, anything at all Funko related each and every week, right here on the Pop Culture uh, YouTube slash Facebook page. As I've mentioned numerous times in this video, all these pops you see right here in front of me are all in stock, available right now to purchase on our website, popculture.com.au, uh, links in the description of the video. Also, like I said, they're pinned to the top of our Just Arrived section. This guy right here, the Michael Jordan in rookie jersey, He's still a pre-order, unfortunately, but, you know, he is coming. He is on his way over here. He's on a ship somewhere on the water. Um, make sure you don't miss out on pre-ordering him as well. I should probably also mention that we, unfortunately, cannot ship any of these guys to the United States or Canada. Everywhere else in the world, though, is no issue. So many great pops to choose from here. Really something for everyone. You've got some Marvel. You've got some Star Wars, Harry Potter. There's just, there's so much. Wayne's World. A two-pack of Wayne's World. Who wouldn't want that in their collection? But anyway... Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.